Everyone. Hello everyone, welcome to week 22 of the Techno Dinosaur Meets the IT Geek. I'm William Nicholl, Life Coach, also the Techno Dinosaur, and I'm based in Troon, South Ayrshire, Scotland. I'd like you to introduce you to my co-conspirator. Hi David, how are you and where are you? Hi Wally, thank you. Good day. I'm David Logan, the IT geek, who's going to train you, Wally, on how to use technology and use it efficiently. So I'm the guy who takes the jargon out of technology, explain it so you know what I'm talking about. I live in Arnhem, southwest of Scotland. I'm based here in Arnhem today, and it's very wet here, Wally. It's uh, a bit uh, drig, as we say in Scotland. Absolutely. Up here also. However, I have a question for you today. David, are you ready? I am ready. Yesterday, my wife had a slight meltdown because her laptop was full. It had run out of memory. So that prompted me to think, what happens when your device is bereft of memory, full, has no memory left? What do we do? What are our options? Okay, so when a device gets full, a computer, laptop, or a phone, you'll probably get one message prior to that event saying, beware, 90% full, 95% full, 96, 97, potentially. If it gets absolutely full, it won't function. And one can only assume that's what happened to your wife yesterday. It got to the stage where it wouldn't function. It just halted. Is that a fair assumption? I believe that's the case. Um, she uses Apple products with which I'm not familiar. Um, my understanding is, as she told me, she can't, if you like, bolt on more memory because Apple products don't let you do that. However, I think the same thing can apply to non-Apple products where you get to a point where your memory has been all used up. You have no more storage space, if I could put it like that. So okay. If you'd be kind enough to explain the RAM, the random access memory, and the, what I call the permanent memory, this, uh, differentiate between these two first, please. Okay, so I'll go back to the original question. What can we do when your device fills up? So this is your main physical memory, your hard drive. What I'll suggest you do is, before it gets to that situation, is to have an external hard drive minimal uh, an external hard drive that you can plug in to your device and copy, copy, don't move, copy photos, videos off your device into the external hard drive. Why I'm saying videos and photos, they take up the most room. Then you've got your normal documents, your Word documents, Excel documents, spreadsheets, word processor files, database files. They take, tend to take up less memory space, less capacity. So think about you, you're talking about so oranges compared to grapes. Grapes generally are smaller, but oranges are bigger. So you want more grapes in, you've got to take the oranges out. Very simple. Your second question, what, what was it again, your second question? The differentiation between RAM and hard drive memory. So... Your hard drive memory, it's a home place for all your documents, your operating system, the software that can talk when you press a button, it knows you're pressing that button and it'll appear on your document. So it's the, it's, it, the hard drive holds all that data, your programs, the, the engine of your computer system, doesn't matter if it's a smartphone, Apple device, computer, laptop, tablet. They've all got hard drives. RAM, random access memory, however, tends to, it's like a, a temporary home bit. So here we are doing this video conference via Zoom. So this is a Zoom application. It's stored in RAM currently. Now if we open up another program, for example, PowerPoint, we're both familiar with PowerPoint. We can load it up, but RAM knows that Zoom application, Zoom program, Zoom app 
is the active one, but they still need to keep the PowerPoint in the background running there. And it tends to be where pro your files can be saved, temporarily saved. But the smaller the RAM is, the slower the computer will be, the less room there is for holding this, these, these applications, these programs. So that's why when you get bigger programs, more programs, you push your system forward, you need to get more capacity in your RAM. Was that a bit over the head there? It was a bit complex? No, no, no I'm getting it. Simplistically, if I may, right, so the more RAM you have, uh, the quicker your device will operate or the more things you can do on it at the one time. Potentially, yes. Yes, you can store it. But saying that, your RAM is limited by the main chip or the main motherboard on your system. So a lot, a lot of computers now, your everyday computer, Windows 10, I can only talk about Windows, I, I'm not familiar with Apple, so excuse me for that. They can take up to 32, 64 gigabyte RAM, which is f phenomenal a lot. Now your hard drives can go up to terabytes. Does that I actually so do know what terabyte is, yes. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're not sure, let's put it down for another topic. Okay. Over it again. Okay. So I think that, yeah, that's, that's us for this week. Is that's that very helpful. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know why I seem to forget about RAM and hard drives and, and gigabytes and terabytes and whatnot. It's, maybe it's my age. And um, that's what I'll blame it on anyway. So thank you very much for that, David. Um, I'm going to say goodbye now and hand back to you, David. So it's bye from Willie the Taken Dinosaur from a very Greek troon in South Ayrshire. And I hope you stay well and have a great week. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you for your question to this week. Before we go, the Wally, to the viewer, I keep saying this. We're not increasing numbers. Please, please subscribe to YouTube. See this button here, subscribe. Press it. <clears throat> the reason is, Wally has got a prize for the person a hundredth subscriber to the YouTube channel. We've got a prize for you. A cracking prize. We're also on other channels. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Drop us a comment. If you are connected to us in person on any of these platforms, send us a message privately. If you don't know how to contact otherwise, drop us a message and we'll phone you back. Generally, I want to finish off have a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you.